What's your rank on that? I got like around 32, 31, something like that.
Okay, we'll go ahead and get started, and I want to just thank you all for being here. Uh, one of my most important duties as the governor is appointing justices to the Supreme Court, and no institution has, more, has a more central role in upholding the rule of law in our state, which means responsibility, thoughtfulness, and courage in its members are essential. State Supreme Court decisions carry tremendous weight, and Iowans need to have confidence that its justices are firmly rooted in statutory and constitutional text. Good justices understand that the role of the courts is to interpret and apply the law, not to create or rewrite it. Above all, their loyalty is to the law as it is, not as they want it to be. Over the past several weeks, I've, concerned, I've uh, considered the three Supreme Court nominees sent to me by the State Judicial Nominating Commission. Each nominee submitted extensive written materials. I received recommendations and input from dozens of Iowans who know them as well as the law. And most recently, I personally interviewed each nominee. It is now my pleasure to announce my fifth appointment to the Iowa Supreme Court, Judge David May. At every point in this decision, Judge May of the Iowa Court of Appeals stood out for, for his experience, his approach to interpretation, and his commitment to judicial restraint. I appointed Judge May to the Iowa Court of Appeals three years ago because he had already excelled in a variety of roles, including as a district court judge and prior to that in private practice. Among his peers, Judge May was described as the go-to lawyer, a legal scholar of the highest rank, and above all, a family man, a great husband to Paula, and a great father to Gretchen and Matt. I also learned that Judge May is a third degree black belt in Taekwondo, something that may at first seem surprising for such a mild-mannered person, but is also completely fitting. The tenets of Taekwondo um, are courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and indomitable spirit. Judge May has demonstrated all of those qualities and more as a lawyer and as a judge. And I'm confident that he will display the same qualities as a justice on the Iowa Supreme Court. He understands that in our system of government, laws are made only by those who are directly accountable to the people. And that as a result, judges should respect the democratic process whenever possible. The people of Iowa deserve nothing less. Judge May is a Missourian by birth and an Iowan by choice. So to me, it's just one more piece of evidence of his good judgment. So congratulations, Justice May. I couldn't be more excited to see what you bring to the court in the years to come. Congratulations. Governor Reynolds, thank you for that wonderful introduction. And Governor Reynolds, I am deeply honored by the confidence you've placed in me through this selection. I'm truly humbled by this appointment to our state's highest court. I'm deeply grateful, Governor, for this extraordinary opportunity to serve the people of Iowa. I'm also grateful to the State Judicial Nomination Commission. The commission plays a crucial role in vetting candidates and selecting a slate of nominees from which the governor chooses, as the governor explained. Thank you, commissioners, for your valuable service to our state, and thank you for your confidence in me. I'm also grateful to everyone who reached out to the commission, or to the governor, or to both, on my behalf. Thank you so much for your support. Speaking of support, I'd like to introduce some of my family members. My wife, Paula Limer May, is here today. We've just celebrated our 25th anniversary. She's an absolute pillar of strength. I would not be here without her. Thank you, Paula. Paula and I have been blessed with two children, as the governor mentioned. 
Our son Matthew is here today. He's about to start college in the fall. And our daughter Gretchen could not be here today. She's out on a trip with her friends having fun. <laughs> but she's going to be a senior at Iowa State. And Matt and Gretchen, we're so very proud of you and so grateful to have you in our lives. I am very excited about beginning my work on the Iowa Supreme Court. I know the work will involve new challenges, certainly a different kind of case mix. But whether you're at the District Court or the Court of Appeals or the Supreme Court, the basic principles of judging remain the same. Judges don't exercise the powers of the executive or the legislature. We have a different job. Our job is to decide legal disputes. We call them cases. When those cases are properly brought before us by the parties. And we decide those cases based on the law as it is written and consistent with our oath to support the Constitution of the United States, to support the Constitution of the state of Iowa. And without fear or affection or hope of reward or other personal concerns, to administer justice according to the law, equally to all Iowans. Governor, thank you again for this extraordinary opportunity. Thank you. 